the wealthiest men in the world have been preachers. And I said, God, what are you talking about? Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Here we have Deuteronomy chapter 8. Let's look at verse 17 first. And thou say in thine heart, so this person is saying something, saying in thine heart, my power and the might of my hand has gotten me this wealth. So what'd they say? They said it was their power and their hand and their strength and their might that got them the wealth. Then he says, but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that gives thee power to get wealth. So one person is saying it's my strength. Are you here? Yeah. It's my strength. The other person should be saying it's God that gives me power to get wealth. But either way, they're saying something. You see this? Yeah. A lot of you can, you can often tell where people are in their faith and in their finances by what they're saying the unbeliever says it's by the work of my hands that got me this wealth the opposite side would be the believer say the believer, believer. that says it's God's power so saying that it is God's power that God that gives you power to get wealth is a good godly confession for the believer so confession is a power of God saying things is a power of God and here it says that God gives you power to get wealth he's giving you the power and what I'd like to bring out today is that confession is a power mm. it's a power that God gives you to get wealth are you seeing this we could even show it in this verse of Scripture because you're saying something that the unbeliever isn't saying you're saying that God gives you power to get wealth, right? right? You're saying God gives you power to get wealth. I don't know how many ways I can get this. I want to get it across. Your saying is God giving you power to get wealth. Say, my saying, my saying. is God's is God. power, power to get wealth. get wealth. Now, are there other ones? Are there gifts of the Spirit? Are there other things? Yeah, but it's, it's your sayings that I'm trying to get out across here today, right? Confession is a power of God. Every word of God has the ability in it, the power in it, to bring itself to pass. But you have to say it, which is often the doing of it. And according to this verse of Scripture, you have to say it. You say it. Every word of God has the ability or power in itself to bring itself to pass. It has God's power in it, has God's faith in it, has God's ability in it, but you have to say it. Now, I'm just going to say a couple things that God said to me, and I hope you're okay with it, but I'm going to say it anyway. The wealthiest men in the world have been preachers. Boy, that's going to fly real big. The wealthiest men in the world have been preachers. And I said, God, what are you talking about? Well, think about Solomon. He was one of the wealthiest men in the world. Look at your Bible. Are there any words of Solomon? People came from all over to hear the wisdom of Solomon and the anointing and spirit by which he spoke. Say spoke. spoke. That's preaching. Preaching is saying God's word. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Wealthiest men in the world have been preachers. And then you can add this at the end of righteousness. Preachers of righteousness. And of course, any preacher is a preacher of righteousness. And righteousness is right standing with God or right walking with God the wealthiest men in the world have been preachers of righteousness well who else you might say well we had Solomon that was obvious the Bible called him the wealthiest man in the world Job he was the wealthiest man in the East preacher of righteousness say preacher of righteousness now righteousness is right standing with God and we know that being in right standing with God means saying the right thing the righteousness which is of faith says and we're talking about God's power to get wealth is the saying it's in the righteousness mm -hmm. are you getting this this could help you today the wealthiest men in the world have been preachers of righteousness how about Abraham preacher of righteousness mm -hmm. was he wealthy the Bible says God made him extremely wealthy mm -hmm. who did God because of his righteousness saying the right things was it because of the work of his hands no it was because of the words of his mouth and how about Noah the Bible specifically called him a preacher 
of righteousness mm -hmm. well Noah wasn't wealthy oh really well I think you're not looking at what was going on with Noah you know a lot of people especially wealthy in our day and probably in that day if you looked at the size of their yacht would be how much money they had people would have a hard time today having a yacht as big as Noah or their livestock if somebody had a rare animal that person is wealthy you ever know people that like I have a peacock or something like that just because Shay, I've got a peacock I'm wealthy I got a big yacht and I got a peacock well he had two at least and it took a lot of money it took a lot of wealth to feed all of those things are you here and then after the flood who was the wealthiest person <laughs> he was obviously well to do and you can't build something like that without God's blessing on you imagine that you know the lumber and all that stuff it took though anyway he was one of the wealthiest and then was the wealthiest person in the world at the time right a preacher of righteousness preaching righteousness is literally saying right words if I'm preaching I'm saying the right words that God tells me to say right how about you the wealthiest people in the world have been preachers of righteousness are you a preacher or speaker of righteousness if you are then you're in their company you see that if you're not then you're not in their company are you getting this say this I am a preacher of righteousness what group does that put you in put you in the same group Solomon Abraham Noah now a couple weeks ago Lord gave me these words to say he said I must have words to work with Holy Ghost saying this I must have words to work with don't think that your confession isn't doing anything don't think that your confession isn't doing anything could Abraham have thought that could Noah have thought that don't think that your confession isn't doing anything it is the material of which everyday miracles are made that's why God can take a speaker of righteousness of right things and make him one of the wealthiest people in the world and then the Bible says the wealth and riches shall be in your house wealth and riches shall be say wealth, wealth and, riches and riches shall be, shall be. In, my house. in my house holy ghost of god in the earth today holy ghost of god